and we got this legacy in here for some sound deadening and the rear speakers we previously already did the uh, front door speakers and uh, JBL sub and these dash speakers today we're going to be doing the center speaker sound deadening on the rear door there you can see the JBL sub not sure if you can see it in the lighting um, this one takes a 30 amp power so we got power straight from the battery uh, really pounds really nice sub and doesn't take up any space at all and then with the JBL we have the uh, wired remote right there And here we have this Tesla Model 3, really common spec white with the stock 18 inch wheels. Uh, pretty awful tire, the Prima C's um, in the 235, 45, 18. We're going to a much better tire. It's also a Michelin, but the AS3 Plus uh, in a much bigger size. So as you can see, there's a lot of clearance in the back. Not actually that much clearance in the front, but we're going with a really aggressive setup for this car. I uh, hope it turns out nice. And there we have the Fast FCO4s, uh, 19 by 9.5 with a 35 offset. It's about almost an inch wider than stock. And we put a 265 35 19 tire on there. It's really pushing it to the edge. You can see the top of the tire or just the edge of the tire sticks past the fender slightly. Uh, and the front rear is pretty much flush. But looks great on this car. Uh, rear is basically perfect. I wouldn't bother adding a space or anything. Front could do with a little bit more camber. It would bring it in nicely, but this is stock suspension, stock alignment. This car has less than a thousand K on it, so it's very new. Uh, these tires are uh, these tires are obviously a little bit wider, so do expect a little bit less range out of them compared to the factory Tesla tires. But you are getting a better tire overall. AS3 Plus is going to outperform both in the dry, wet, and the snow uh, compared to the stock Primacy MXV4s. They might not be as quiet because they're not the Tesla original spec, so they don't have the uh, sound proofing that's inside those tires, uh, but they should be a much nicer to drive tire. And for a lot of our customers, if you're commuting in the city or charging every day, the range is not really a big deal. You're still getting well over 300 kilometers out of these. And just very aggressive uh, matches the style of this car quite well I think it's it's like a more aggressive take on the factory 18 inch wheels and there's those stock wimpy 18 inch wheels for a comparison um, yeah this is without the aero cover already a bit more sporty than the aero cover look but you know that same 5 V spoke design is mimicked on those new wheels but with a lot more concave to it more aggressive color and more aggressive fitment obviously and just to show you how new this car is 81 kilometers on the clock and we put new wheels and tires on it so a customer never even drove on these wheels and tires but good thing about that is they're being sold right away a uh, customer found a buyer for those old wheels and tires so it's actually a pretty good situation and here we have this Q50 in, uh, did a window tint on it. So we did 55% on the front, 18 on the rear. And here we've got this Mazda 5 in for a backup camera. Uh, there's a few ways to do backup cameras. You know, if you don't want to change the radio and don't want to spend too, too much money, we have the rear view mirror screens, obviously. Uh, but this car, I told him, you know, he's concerned about the visibility and these portable GPS style looking uh, screens are a little bit clearer because there's no mirror in front of it. And so it doesn't get washed out in the sun. So I'll just power it on and show you guys what it looks like. So when you shift into reverse, then you get the rear view there. And then for the uh, actual camera itself, we have one of these license plate units. Uh, this kind of setup we can do for most cars under $400 installed. 
the screen and camera and all the labor involved and parts and materials everything so again shift into reverse lights up and here we have this brand new Lexus RX a uh, customer decided on the VFO A129 Pro Duo uh, this camera is really good video quality super high bit rate um, so make sure to get the big memory card for it so the camera is beeping right now because there's no memory card in there uh, this camera does do parking mode, motion detection, all that stuff. Now, because of this ferrite bead, you can't really tuck this away so well compared to other dash cams, but um, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty sleek overall, the wedge shape. There's a few things we don't really like about this camera. For one, the rear camera cable is super thick. So some cars, there's not enough room in these tubes to run that rear camera through. Um, and in those cases we just tell the customer it's not doable generally speaking we, we haven't found a car yet that we actually got stuck on but it is difficult the other thing is because the rear camera cable goes straight out the back you can't mount the camera like really flush against this trim um, so you have to leave about an inch of space for mounting this camera and what that means is some applications it might not be as discreet uh, you can see it's kind of pinching the wire right there um, and that's just kind of the cleanest way to do it, but it's not uh, the most ideal compared to Thinkware or Blackview cameras We have the rear camera cable coming out of the side. We can put the camera nice and high up Now from the driver's seat you just see the camera poking out a little bit um, Actually from where I normally sit. I don't even see the camera, which is great And we have this Maserati in for alligator wheel protectors going for a red color Customer previously had these tape-on ones and tape-on ones, they don't really hold in that well. They're just literally tape and what happens is they leave a lot of residue around your wheel. So if you bring us a car that had these previously installed, do expect to pay a little bit of labor because we need to take off all the residue of the adhesive. Otherwise, the alligator won't sit in properly. And here we have this BMW 430i in for the Thinkware Q800 Pro. We have the rear camera mounted up on the convertible top. And for this car we have a battery pack as well mounted right there. Q800 Pro mounted there and the rear camera. Just show you the top operation because we have the wire running into the convertible top the camera moves up and down with the convertible top top is down uh, the rear camera won't have any recording and I'll just show you how this works so we have the rear camera cabling running through the convertible mechanism the rear camera is right there 